The Khajiit is here. The Khajiit is here. Let's get something done. Reapers March, once known only as Northern Valenwood, this region that borders Cerrado and elsewhere is a bit of a cunt because there's a big ass cliff that goes right down the middle of the map making a bit of an arsehole to get around. Early on in the story, the first one you're going to come across is the public dungeon. You get the key out of the boots and you can head on down. Down at the bottom here. Don't go down the hole. But down here is the um, public event, group event. Now don't try and attack the skeletons, read the book. Once you read the book, the ice statues will come to life, you can kill them. Which will wake up the big giant ice statue, kill him and get your bonus skills to group event done. Here's the location for all the other bosses in the area. You want to make sure you kill all these ones first, before you head down the hole to the second floor, or bottom floor, where there's three more bosses and the sky shard right there behind the first boss you'll encounter. Pop the dungeon done. He has sworn his life to First the quest dimension is on this one where you're talking to Rajan to die in service through the to gate there, to the outside, then the other outside, then the inside, then the right hand side. And I'll allow you to pick up the crown, which we do this way to save Raja's life, because if you kill Raja, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Anyway. Done. Uh, if you're watching this video, the chances are if you're stuck in Reaper's March on any quest, it would be this one. We have to stop the ritual. Now, luckily for us, there's a book here. However, upon reading this book, and I did actually read this book, you can see me reading the book right now. After reading this book, I, I was still as clueless as I was when I first walked in the room. The book did not help at all. So I simply just started pressing buttons. but it gave it to me and I left the room just as confused as I was when I entered. Sorry I could not be of more help to you. The third puzzle for Reaper's March is down in the sewers. You come across this guard who's scared of the crocodiles and he's been pinned up on the, on the rock edge here. And he asks you to open the, um, open the door behind him. Once again, we read the book. Alright, and the first thing the book talked about was a thief, so we pressed the thief stone. And then it talked about a tower, so we pressed the tower stone. And then it talked about a mage, so we pressed the mage stone. Done. And that will allow you to get through the door. And um, this is the last delve we did. So this is the moment of judgment. If you don't have everything right, once you complete this last delve in Reaper's March, you'll get your achievement for completing that delve, of course. But we also get the Reaper's March cow, uh, Cave Dweller for doing all the caves in Reaper's March, which also gave us the Outermere Dominion Cave Dweller for doing all the caves in Outermere Dominion. And then we get our Master Explorer for doing all the caves and the eyes in Reaper's March. And then we get the Master Outermere Dominion Explorer for doing all the caves and the eyes in all of Outermere Dominion. Next up, fishing. Uh, there is no ocean in Reaper's March, so that makes it a bit easier. Here's a rough map. The foul fishing holes are the only um, one you really need to pay attention to. Otherwise, the rest are just sort of mowed up. Quiet now, or you'll scare all the Sorry. fish away. And go back and get any sky sides you may have missed. And then after doing all that, if you still have missed some of these bastards, well um we'll show you where they are on the map here. Can you lend a helping hand? So this was the bigger. I was raised as a slave. My master's never thought to teach me how to fend for myself. 
And she found out, I found her twice and she actually had a different dialogue for the second time you find it. She says, thanks for helping me, but uh, can you help me again? Just, uh, just detail in this game. But those at this location here. Just so, because the points on the map don't really pinpoint it for you 100%. But like this one, for example, Marjon. Looking at the map, the dot, I thought she was going to be down there in, the, in by the river. But we um we eventually found her here at this location, but she's up here on the cliff. The moon trees have many. This is where we found our merchant. And this is actually pretty good because it shows you um. We came back to the same spot, and we found the campfire. Exact same spot. So each spot, it will randomly, you know, you have a random chance of getting any one of the random so ones. The order. So that spot was lucky for me. I got two out of that one spot. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, um, drinking in the main city here. Well, in the middle city. I'm not. You know, I guess it's the main city. Uh, where well, you'll find the undaunted to give him a drink, buy him a drink. Just come around the corner here. These guys here. And um, that's everything you need to know about Reaper's March <laughs> to get 100% on the achievements. The new blood. You've come far, my friend. Thanks for watching, guys. Empress of Bone is thirsty! Buy her a drink! Now! That is what the Empress of Bone said! <laughs> Excellent! The sober world bores and infuriates the Empress of Bone. Selene's web, buried in the jungles of Reaper's March, is a forest 